Previously, uh, I'm not calculating calorie. I don't have food diary. But now, I really uh, take uh, every calories counted in my food diary. At least I want to make sure that I get uh, 1,500 calories per day. Uh, not more than KFC. Two pieces of. It can be uh, 450 calories. And then you have Coke beside that. You, you can be one, uh, 150 calories, almost 500. And then if you're having uh, masak lemak cili api, you have uh, with chicken, chicken nasi lemak cili api, it's about 450 calories. And I said to Dr. if we get more than that, uh, you have to uh, go for uh, more intense count. At least you can burn something because uh, food intake and exercise is all about uh, how many amount calories that you eat and how many calories that you burn. So that's the most important thing. It's important to have knowledge first before you can tackle your health problem because I've been doing that for the past 10 years without knowledge it is so difficult to keep all those bad habits so you need good coach you need good knowledge uh, for you to uh, succeed so it is not impossible either you are in your 20s your 30s your 40s your 50s your 60s you can do it it's just that you must have some resilience factor in yourself and uh, I believe it's not against other people, it's about you and yourself. Three factors in uh, staying healthy is uh, having uh, good proper food, uh, good diet uh, and uh, proper exercise and most importantly is you have enough sleep of eight hours. You must have this the whole things. The whole exercise, the whole program, I think uh, the one thing that I know is that the input and the output, it, you must be either equal or maybe your output is more than the input so that you can maintain or lose weight. So I think uh, the choice of food is very important and I think we, we should pick uh, food that are how would say, less oil, less fat and also less salt. And you know, we should have a balance of diet rather than go to extreme just veggie and there's no meat but we, we should have a balance you know maybe more more veggie but less uh, meat and also carbo so i think that bad if, if your diet is balanced and you take in on a regular basis uh, naturally you will have the healthy body this uh, spinal bifida problem is a congenital disease so uh, my my weight fluctuate and Actually, I, I try from time to time to lose weight and sometimes I was success, but I couldn't maintain it because of my health problem. So I think one thing that I really realized that after the amputation, it's actually about our willpower, how much we want to change and how much we want to improve our life.